So Foster Vlock is in there to close it out or to try to close out this inning and keep the game going. The Gauchos have runners at first and second with one out in a 2-2 game here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And Chekets is going to pinch hit for Clark. But it's going to be the freshman, Billy Frederick. Frederick, 6-foot, 185-pound freshman from Santa Clarita, picked up his first career RBI in yesterday's 16-5 blowout uh, loss to Wichita State. And let me tell you, for as many practices as I've been to, talking to the coaches, they love this guy, Billy Frederick. Billy's a left-handed hitter, and he is getting thrown into the Division I fire of pressure right now. Because he's facing an outstanding closer, Vlock, a 1.59 earned run average, making his sixth appearance. He's 1-0, and five and two-thirds innings, three strikeouts, no walks. And Frederick making sure that he tells the home plate umpire, John Basiglia, that, hey, this is how you spell Billy Frederick. Well, wouldn't it be great if he can get a base hit and get his first collegiate dog pile? Because they'll be coming after him, 2-2. Bottom of the ninth. You've got speed at second with Kalika. You've got speed at first with Newell. And the pitch, Frederick, looks at ball one down low. One ball, no strikes. Right-hander against left-hander. Newell's run doesn't mean anything, but where the speed comes in is that you have a chance with a speedy runner like Cameron to potentially break up what could be a double play at second base. So even though his run doesn't mean anything, because Kalika represents a winning run, the speed's good. Here's the pitch. Check swing. And a curveball in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes. Great piece of hitting there by Frederick, because he started to commit at that pitch, and that is a sharp, breaking curveball. Two balls, no strikes. 2-2, two, two, bottom of the ninth. Kalika led off the inning with a single. Newell was intentionally walked after Nesevic sacrificed Kalika in a second. And here's Billy Frederick, the pinch hitter, up there with a 2-0 count, the 2-0. Inside and low, 3-0. Jackson Morrow on deck. Well, I would imagine that Belock could probably walk up to home plate and underhand this ball over the plate. There's no way Billy's swinging. 3-0, right down the middle for a strike, 3-1. And, and that's no slight against Billy Frederick. Billy has not had many bats this season. In fact, this is Billy's uh, third at bat. He's two for two. I mean, if you're Epperson, it's a whole different story. Here's the 3-1. Swung on and it's out the right field and deep. Caleb goes back, still going back. It's coming to Anderson, and the now shows him what it. Billy Frederick pulls the goal. Off the right field, Phil. And they are mobbing him at second base. Second base and drive that hit the base of the right field fence. Kalika had to wait to see if it would be caught by Bailiff. It was not, and Kalika flew home with the winning run. And Bailiff has done it. The Gauchos have taken two out of three from Wichita State. And Billy Frederick is three for three this season. And man, did he get a dog pile out near second base. <laughs> what a moment for the freshman. So that'll do it for the broadcast. You see us beat three runs, five hits, two errors. Wichita State, two runs, seven hits, and one error. The winner is Greg Malley. And the loser is Aaron LeBry. UCSB approves to 13-3. Wichita State falls to 11-6. Congratulations to Billy Frederick with his first walk-off.
Hunt has a gaucho. Congratulations to Joey Epperson, who extended his hitting streak to 22 games, dating back to last season, with a home run in the fifth inning. 3-2 our final. The Gauchos win it. We'll be back on the air with Gaucho Baseball next Friday here at Cesar Wasaka Stadium when the Gauchos open a four-game series against Wagner. This is Jerry Paul saying so long, and thanks for joining us. UCSB wins it 3-2. So long, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.